what? Tell from a crib. Yeah. I had a mother-in-law. She was she was the best thing going. I used to I got a daughter pregnant, and uh she couldn't stand me because she was uh she said I was a uh when she tell her daughter I was a bum. <laughs> well, it's too late now. Uh, uh, uh. How you doing, mother-in-law? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell to no. She was an ugly person. She went to a church called Ambassadors, which you know catered to all the uppity church folks at this time. Yeah. And um. She couldn't stand me. Uh, and that lady right there, uh, doing her days and living, it's nothing in the world she ever thought she had to ask me for. You get what I'm saying? And, uh, I called her Miss Jewel. She was like a, 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 a jewel in the dirt. But anyway, and Miss Jewel got older, when I got a daughter pregnant, she couldn't stand me. She'd tell motherfuckers, I don't want him around her and such and such. And that lady talked bad about me and treated me like I was shit. But I never did try to do nothing to please, please the lady. Then I came to find out that lady was mean as hell. Yeah. Was the most wickedest woman in the world. I thought the lady was mean. She is nothing that person could ever do that, 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 that'll make her look like I was somebody in her eyes. Uh, let me let me throw this in the atmosphere. You never know who you're needing in the end of your life, so be careful how you treat people. Right. I'm gonna throw that out there again. Mm. You never know who you're gonna need in the end of your life, so be careful how you treat people. I learned that at the nursing home. When I was a CNA, I go to work every day, and I seen these people were down and out, and I tried to treat them right, because I knew one day if I kept living, I would get old. Something that I couldn't control, and that's getting old. <laughs> Out of my control. But anyway, uh, tell my crib, man, uh, this lady right here, uh, one day needed knee surgery. She was so mean to me, she made her goddamn me daughter had a baby in the house. One of my kids was born in the house without the lady even called. The lady was so mean, she didn't call the ambulance and tell the girl it was in labor. Yeah. She sit there and listen to another lady have labor in the next room next to her screaming and hollering for her motherfucking life, and she did nothing. By the time my baby mama had the baby, the baby was still on the umbilical cord. She walked in there and got the phone off the hook and called the ambulance herself. Yeah. The only thing her mama could say to her was, God damn it, who's going to get this goddamn blood off the floor? How mean could you be? Uh. Hey, I, I remember when I was coming on, I, I seen a Roots movie one time and the lady was having a baby. And I looked at that lady on Roots having that baby and seeing all that pain that lady was going through. I'm like, God damn, because she gone to have a motherfucker. Yeah. Shit. I seen Whoopi Goldberg doing that motherfucker. I seen the color purple when, when Silly was having that baby. That was the ugliest motherfucker I seen in my goddamn life. Having a baby. I'm like, damn, Silly, hurry up. She made some of the fucked up as fast. I said, ooh, God. Hey, let me tell y'all something. Ain't nothing like seeing it when it come out. Uh, for all you tough niggas, for all you niggas think you got all the dick in the world, you gonna find out your little dick can't do nothing with that hole right there. <laughs> when you see that baby come out of there, uh, you ain't got enough. You ain't got enough dick unless you belong in the circles or something. Nigga. On the Guinness Book World Record, if you think you hurting that. And it ain't talking about the baby head, I'm talking about the shoulders too. God damn. Hello! Every time about, you don't see the head on the baby, now nah, you should see how wide his shoulders were. Yeah. Shit, the head didn't do nothing. It's when the body had to come, the shoulders had to get past that mother. Uh. Yeah. This lady right here, uh. Um, got down in life at the end of her lifetime, you know. She had needed knee surgery. She had a knee surgery. Lady had a good job, one of the best nice houses they could buy out there on the uh, southwest side of town when niggas didn't even stay in Crowley. Yeah. Uh, you never heard of a black nigga in Crowley. It was a white folks land. Uh, you had to have some money to be in Crowley. Uh, when she had a nice house out there in a big house, first time I seen their house, I couldn't even believe niggas stayed in the house. Like, who house is this? Yeah. Okay, who house is this? Uh, it's, it's, it's her house. I'm like, God damn, my girl rich, my little girl, my girl rich, my mother, my own fucking life. I ain't up having five kids by that girl. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, one day me and her, I had moved her away from her mama. I told her, your mama made you have a baby in the house like this, she'll let you die. She don't care nothing about you. So I moved that girl out, me and her hit the streets, and we stayed out there together for 16 years. Uh, during the process, we was out there, I remember I got a knock at the door. 
My baby mama never fooled with her, but, but her mama, because her mama felt like she ran things on both sides of town, hers and ours. Until I told her mama one time, um, when I brought my girl from over there on this side of town, my girl came to her, she looked around, she said, damn. I said, what's wrong? She said, this. She said, my neighborhood, it looks like the movies. <laughs> now, this is real. This ain't the movies. But where she come from, they go to Disney World every motherfucking year. Disney World? Before I go to Disney World, nigga, we go to Six Flags or uh, I go to Forest Park. She, yeah, 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 get on the train. Yeah. Ride that motherfucker around. God, that's, me, that's me. That's it for me. That's it. That, as far as I... My bad. I ain't, I, she, I ain't never... I've been to Six Flags one time. And just one time. I want to go again. I'll probably go again this year. Um, anyway, but... Yeah. um. Saying that to say that, me and her had two different lifestyles. I lived in the hood. Yeah. She grew up where it was all good. <laughs> yeah. I go to Disney World every year? <laughs> the fuck? What is that, Florida? Every year, mom takes us to Disney World. No, that shit over. <laughs> shit. Go ride on the merry-go-round or something. I'll twirl you on that motherfucker. Pope pocket pro we, we got all these goddamn kids, too. Shit, damn sure can't afford no Disney World. Yeah. With five kids? Seven? Shit, her two and my god, and my five, we out of there. Her little brother and her daughter, and her daughter, shit, nigga, I got seven kids living here. I got to take her every motherfucking day. And y'all think I ain't happy to be alone some goddamn time? Yeah, yeah. I did that. 16 years straight. Yeah. How did you talking about anyway? I got a knock on the door one day. Boy, the story is. A lady said, um, your name, do you know who Pamela Sing, Pamela is? I said, yes, ma'am. Where she stay at? I said she stayed with me. What's up? Well, her mom is down and out real bad. Um, she had knee surgery. She can't get up and move around, and she won't let nobody in the house to clean up. You know, it's, it's the house is real. T I'm like, oh, shit, that what she get? That what that side was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately, I told the lady, hold on, here we come. I said, tell my baby mama, come on, we gotta go out to your mama house. Clean up. There's the house that's out of there, and your little brother over there just don't know what to do. Um. Uh -huh. Hey, you ever heard a thing called put your pride to the side? Yeah. Well, she was hard at doing that. Uh, why was she called Percy? He's been a bum all his life. He can't do nothing. Percy ain't nobody. Hell no, I'll be the last person I fucking call. Matter of fact, be the last person I fucking expect to see come through that door. And me, uh, to show you what type of character I am in life, as a um, a real man, when I walked in the door, I never, nothing that she's ever, that lady ain't never fuck with me. <laughs> I already know. I'm not here for brownie points. You hear me? Yeah. I'm here because when um, I listen to a higher power that's greater than me, than myself, I, I react. As soon as that lady said that, I walked through the door and I had grabbed a trash bag and I just went to clean. And, I, and the lady was trying to say, um, you know, her pride was too high to say, you know, hey, that's Percy? Yeah, that's Percy. First thing I came through the door, I said, how you doing, Miss Jewel? How you doing today? And I knew, I knew the expression, you know, now I'm wondering the time she's going to say, no, no, get out of my house. Get out my, get out. She's mean like that. Get out. I don't want nobody over here. Get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That lady is that mean. Um. Uh, but when you know you got the upper hand, I can be oh, just whole me. leg up there with staples in it. But knee surgery, you can't, you, you, you didn't been shitting over her, shitting and pissing over I know you embarrassed for me to see you in a situation like this. I'm not a bum right now. I, 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 my name is Help right now. Hello! And I'm finna do what I know that I'm sitting here to do and I don't say a word. And I went to cleaning up around the lady. Excuse me, ma'am, move your leg up, ma'am. And she seen the real Percy. She didn't see P-Dog. She didn't see the nigga that she thought she seen every goddamn time that she thought she knew because of uh, who I presented myself as. Which one thing about the lady, she wasn't lying. <laughs> I was like, what? Fooly Wayne. But it was always somebody that lived inside of her that didn't get a chance, you know. You know he, was way, he was living in the back room. He didn't have a front room. Yeah. And he had, he had a little, little spot of corner on the floor. And that's who I am today. There was too many people living in this one house that I couldn't goddamn me, um, shit. But anyway, 
the right one showed up. I went to cleaning up, getting up, pit shit, clean up the bedroom, every room. Um, matter of fact, I threw up some hot links on. Oh, you you hungry, Miss Jewel? And she show hey, well, yeah, I, you know, what, what do you need to eat? I see you got hot links in there, bread, you need all, oh, it's a store, right? well, I'll take a couple of hot links. Oh, that's a start. Oh, I got to say shit. So I got, I get to go in there, throw in the water, <laughs> boil her some hot links and make her the best hot links sandwich she ever ate with a little, you no know, mayonnaise, a little, um, you know, a little, um, barbecue sauce sprinkling on that motherfucking, <laughs> get her right. Yeah. My thing was just to watch her eat it. She, mm. Mm, I know it. Look at <laughs> I learned that in prison. <laughs> yeah. I do I say that you put that? Hello! I yeah. put that wop on her because I already know what it tastes like. <laughs> if she don't enjoy my taste, she ain't been around nothing. And, 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 and she had mustard all running all down her little face. Um, got rid of Lee. She said, well, Percy, come here. I, I thank you. I seen it in her eyes. She gave me $50. I was like, oh, yeah, thank you, shit. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh I know y'all didn't think I would say no, that's okay. You can keep that too. Shit. I, mean, I got shit to go do. Fuck that. I'm gonna need that 50. I don't know. <laughs> you gonna give your daughter anything? She was helping. <laughs> well, maybe y'all can. Could... Shit. It's already spent. Spent what? It ain't got spent. <laughs> I already spent this shit. I ain't got nothing. But anyway, more of that story was, uh, you never know you need in the end. I know it. You never know you you gonna need in the end. I know it. See how that came? More of that story, you never know what you gonna need in the end. Right. Uh, the cold thing about that, it wasn't the end of the beginning for me and Miss Jewel. Uh, Miss Jewel never bounced back from the knee surgery. Um, y'all know that um Trump don't give out no stimulant checks no more, so um them bill collectors are still knocking at them doors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were balling when you had that motherfucker. Couldn't tell a nigga, shit, y'all bet my bill paid. Or did it eleven hundred goddamn what? Couldn't tell them a whole year, what? You know how many people got comfortable off their stimulants? Oh yeah. You know how many people you couldn't tell them a motherfucking thing because they get they check. <laughs> no people didn't give a fuck about this and that. No people, no many people accumulated bills, and that, they don't know that that check is gone. And uh, and people still calling. Yeah, they want their money. Uh, saying it to say what? What they got to do with anything? Miss Jewel got a knee surgery. They still don't stop the bills from coming. What's going on? Oh, she just had a knee surgery. Can y'all hold on? Shit. Yeah. The economy ain't never held on for nobody in the hospital. Yeah. The economy don't care because you got a knee surgery, your knee bigger than a goddamn football, and you can't move. We just here to collect our money. What's wrong? The rent dude, this dude, that dude. Water bill need paying, electric need paying, uh, on your car no dude, and your insurance do what? Well, I haven't been able to, I, I can't work. Well, that don't stop. One monkey don't stop no show. Uh, that's how the system works. Uh, saying that to say what, people that's looking at me now, be careful how you handle people because you never know who you're going to need in the end. Let's keep, can, shall I continue? Yeah. Well, anyway, Miss Jewel, you know, ended up um, never bouncing back from the knee surgery. So things didn't get better, it got worse. And you know how people do you when things get worse on you, when you're used to having. And now you don't got what you used to have. And when you did have, you was the have-nots. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, because you didn't fuck with people that didn't have what you have. And you know, you wore the good, you lived good, you went to the nice church, you paid your offering, your tithes, you drove a big pretty hat, you dressed the style, you dressed the fit, your ass was that way. You was all that in a perfect. You played volleyball in high school, you're 6'3, yeah. you, you, everything is in place, but you never know who you're gonna need in the end. Yeah. But anyway, as Miss Jewel was in, entering the fourth quarter and that knee took a bad turn, um, Bills still needed to be paid and she couldn't linger. Uh, started spending, but one thing I can say about the lady, she was a smart one. She didn't live that low, you know, one thing about it, she was smart. She did go to college, did graduate college. You understand me? She was, a, she was well educated. Uh, one thing I can say about Miss Jewel, uh, she knew where to get her finances back. If she did have a blowed up knee or a blowed off leg, he ain't talking about. Yeah. Uh, that lady had old money. With dirt on it, she didn't spend it on nobody. All she had was two kids and an adopted one. You know, when you got adopted money, you good. Yeah. 
You just gonna drive, adopt the kids? You just want another kid? I got to adopt me. The fuck? Who the hell asked for nothing? I mean, I'm not taking nothing away from the adopted kids. Y'all go get them babies. Y'all go get them. But only get them if you can afford them. Yeah. Don't get them just to say that I got a chick coming with them. Yeah, about to, yeah. yeah. Hello! Yeah. Oh, we know the game, y'all. We know the game. We know the game. You know, niggas find a way to make a penny off of, off of a dead nigga. Mm hmm Hello! <laughs> Shit. It ain't gonna hurt him. He dead. He ain't feeling nothing. But anyway, um, I'm gonna get off this Miss Jewel story uh, and, and wind it on up. In the end, uh, Miss Jewel, I came home, I went to jail one time, y'all, and um, I did something stupid, ended up getting like 28 days in jail. Uh, when I came home, I, I said, um, I walked through the house, hey, 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 what's going on? Whoa, 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 daddy home! All the kids gonna run and shit, you know, we doing our thing, we talking, wah, wah. And I walked through there, I seen some shit, I like, fuck was that? I just seen them, I walked through there. I was talking to my baby mama, I said, I just seen a tall girl walk through there. She said, no, that's mama. I said, no, that's not your mama, that lady right there was, was standing in this motherfucking pole. That's not your mama, man. That, that wasn't your mama. It was some skinny, skinny, skinny lady. She said, um, that's my mom. That can't be your mom. Your mama got volleyball hips. Big booty. Round, six something top. Heavy set. Big old blow that knee. She said, it's mom in there. I go in there and look through the door. I say, Jewel? Hey, Percy? Hey, Miss Jewel? I play it off. What the F happened to Miss Jewel? Yeah. Be careful how you treat people. You never know who you're going to need in the end. Well, Miss Jewel knee just didn't take a bad. Her hair took a turn for the worst, too. She was unrecognizable when I seen Miss Jewel the next time. Like, what the hell? Why is she over here? Because she lost her house and everything. I'm like, what's your mom doing over here? So what you saying? Um, she lives in there now. Oh, hell no. Nah. She can't come live in the bomb house. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but welcome, Miss Jewel. Uh, I used to work at a nurse home, and when I seen the condition her mom was in, uh, only thing my heart could say was, help! Her. Oh, hell no. No, nigga, man. Nigga, you know what he said on this side. Oh, man, fuck that hoe. It's that same bitch didn't want you coming out. You need to tell her get it. I don't care where she's going to put in the nurse now. Retire on. No, she can't stay here. Because yeah. whatever I said, this house going to go. My baby mama going to do it immediately. Then I got the man over here saying, damn, person, good chance, you know. Person. Be careful how you might treat people. You never know who going to need you yeah. in the end. <laughs> Who gonna need me? Ain't nobody gonna need me. I ain't got nothing for them to get. Uh, you got a lot for them to get without a dollar. Uh, <clears throat> money don't buy love. Yeah. I'm gonna let y'all soak in that for a minute. <laughs> Shit. I know a lot of kids grew up and they mind and bought them everything in the motherfucking world from PlayStation to Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, and all, and they still don't give a fuck about them. Cause money don't buy love. Right. But anyway, uh, Miss Jewel ended up staying, uh, her rest of her days, you know. When me and my baby mama departed, uh, you know, everybody ain't built like me. I could deal with her baby, my mama. I could deal with her mama. I knew how to treat her every day. Yeah. There wasn't nothing she could do wrong to me, but, uh, you know, the, the fruit don't fall too far from the tree, uh. Um, that's the same girl that just had the baby in the room you never called the ambulance for. And we have to go back to how she might be mentally still um, distorted. Um, I'm not. Um, I've moved on way past that. Um, but you know, um, some people say you just here for their own good. Yeah. She got a check coming with you, that to pay this, to pay that, to woo, woo, woo. Oh, the lady was in good condition, man. Uh, she went on a fast. 
I said, what's wrong with you, ma'am? Why are you not eating? She, well, God told me to fast. And I said, ma'am, you ain't nothing but, you look like a real skeleton talking to me. Come on, look at you. Come on, Miss Jewel, don't do you. She said, well, God told me to, man. I said, believe me, God don't want you to look this way. Ain't no God telling you to do yourself like this. Mm. Uh, that's the wrong God. You, I, I mean, I'm not trying to stir your faith, but I see you reading that Bible every day faithfully into it so deep. Uh, you must not be reading the right scriptures or your understanding for this word is not on track. Right. Because... Ain't no way God will have you like that. Something's trying to kill you and destroy you, Miss Jewel. I used to tell her that. Yeah. Well, God, and she bounced at her. I come down there with oatmeal and said, feed her oatmeal. Miss Jewel, she said, Purr, she didn't come through that one day. She said, you cooking some oatmeal this morning? Yes, ma'am. Get right on top of it for you. You understand me? And I did know what I was supposed to. I ended up being incarcerated for a couple of days. And I came home, she was gone. I was like, where Miss Jewel? Well, we put her in a nursing home. We couldn't, I have to work, go to work. I got seven kids to take care of. You're in jail. So I will go get out the number. Well, she's all right there. She's fine, Miss Jewel. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Um, make a long story, Miss Jewel died in that nursing home. Um, my mom and I did the funeral, the eulogy and everything, you know. Be careful how you treat people. Yeah. You never know you're going to need an end. But anyway, during the frontal time, I'm like, damn, mama, who else going to do? We don't, she don't fool with Miss Jewel. She's a loner. Nobody came, but then the frontal came. And uh, ain't it crazy how everybody come out the woodworks? Yeah. I mean, who, I mean, who is y'all? That's family. Family who? From where? And I mean, a wealthy side of the family. I knew Miss Jewel had, you know, I knew she braided up shit. I knew that old lady had insurance on top of insurance and deposits on it. She had money. You just go in there and damn, blow the dust off that goddamn shit. That's old money. Yeah. Damn, how long that shit been there? She had just been sitting there. Yeah. Oh, it's a whole bunch of that down there. Of this? What's it, about like 10000 God damn, in one brick? Oh, oh, that's old money. I got that from my own husband. When he died, I've been keeping his checks. I have no use for them. Oh, no wonder you motherfuckers was going to Disney World every goddamn year. Y'all mama got that money. And I said, when you die, when you on your deathbed, you getting ready to get out, how people get the... <laughs> how them rats get the smell in that cheese. Yeah. You know, who's going to be a beneficiary? Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, motherfuckers. Get quit those stuff is talking like that. No, don't come in and talk like that with that old whole shit. Now, get away from her. See, one thing that they didn't know, uh, everything was in her daughter's control. And her daughter had an ignorant ass nigga, which was OG Purse. <laughs> uh, how was he ignorant? He knew the game. He knew who was there to the end, who wasn't. He knew who shouldn't be coming around, snooping around, saying that they control this and control it. Now, y'all don't y'all eat motherfucking thing. Uh, she do it. She's going to be a woman. She know how to take care of it. Do you know who's doing this? Yes, um, uh, her daughter got it. But you know who's taking care of this? Yes, her daughter got it. Who's her daughter? That's my girl. She 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 know she know um. No, she ain't been fucking with the family. Ain't no use in fucking with y'all now. What y'all want? Oh, the motherfucker got shovels in their hand. Everybody trying to dig up some money. You hear me? <laughs> Whole family sitting there. I know Jewel got some digging. And when I made the ass jump hoops every time they asked the question. But anyway, uh, tell from a crib, let me bury Miss Jewel right quick. R.I.P. Miss Jewel, man. I was at Miss Jewel funeral, and I didn't have no intentions of doing nothing at the funeral but sitting there making sure the grandkids and my baby mom was okay to see her mom go. Man, Miss Jewel, when I walked up to that, that coffin, man, Miss Jewel looked like a perfect bill of health. This lady looked like, God damn, what y'all do? Add some weight to her? She had gained all her weight back inside the nursing home, eating good, the insurers, the head out there, had bounced her back on health. She wasn't the bones that I seen when she left. She had bells. She was laying in that coffin. And we went, my baby mom went and spent like about, like, I took her to go get her mom's dress and everything. Spent about like 350 on the, on the clothes and everything. I say, uh, they gonna creep, man. Why are you putting all that on that dress? That's 350. God damn, they don't burn Shit. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah. You bring this bitch back tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, son, God damn, she ain't gonna put it on, take it out. They ain't gonna know this. I'm gonna turn this dress and shit, fuck this. Yeah. But anyway, um, we was up there, and then my asked me, Percy, 
at the funeral. Tales from a Crip. Now the funeral was packed with people. I said, Miss Jordan, no old boy. Yeah, she was in college. She played volleyball. This why all these goddamn white folk going around. Why all these goddamn white folk? Niggas and shit. The uppity crowd came out of nowhere. Where all y'all been? But anyway, that's besides the point. That shit old. Ain't that right, Miss Jewel? I ain't heard no hello, so I get it. Yeah. That's over. When them lights go off, ain't no coming back. But anyway, um, I was at the front and I was asking Percy, could you get up and say, so wait a minute, hold on. Don't call me up there like that shit now. There's all the people in this goddamn front and they're gonna say, well, remarks from Mr. Um, Percy Demers. I mean, who the fuck told him I was gonna say something? Yeah. Shit, I don't <laughs> I'm looking at my baby mom, she said, you can do it. Nah, I can't, bitch, you didn't tell me I had to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at me, shit, I ain't finna get up in front of these people. All right. They don't want me to get up there. Okay. All right. I'll walk my ass up there. And I'm looking at the crowd, and I'm like, God damn, slide these motherfuckers in here. I said, I just want y'all to know, um, Miss Jewel was one of the meanest ladies I ever met. My mom said, what the hell Percy doing? <laughs> and guess what the heads of the crowd started doing? <laughs> shit, I seen agreements every motherfucking word that I did. I said, but one of the sweetest women that I ever knew. You hear me? Mm. I said, the meanest lady that I ever met, but one of the sweetest women that I ever knew. Because she was mean because she knew who I was. You know, when a person tell you who you is, sometimes you, they got to be mean. They fucked up, fucked that up. But she really know who you was. She called it, she, she called a strike a strike and a ball a ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and she seen a strike, she said, that's a bomb. And she went out, I was game banging my motherfucking ass off at that time. Yeah. I was out of there. That lady called that like she seen that strike and she didn't never take it back. <laughs> well, um, I'm sorry, that was a strike to get you. You can't take it back, that's strike one. <laughs> yeah. Strike two, or you get you another one. But you can't get that one back. Um, and Miss Jewel, um, she called it like she seen it. Uh, I'm not mad at her. Uh, and I called it like I seen it. Be careful how you treat people. <laughs> you never know who you're going to need in the end. I was up there. I said what I said to Miss Jewel Fern, and uh, from out of nowhere, I got a standing ovation. <laughs> After I did a little poem for her and, and said she was a mean person. Yeah. And then y'all, tell from the crib, and I'm gone on Miss Jewel. Rest in peace to her soul. She was a jewel, man. That means a diamond in the rough. Her last, her name was Jewel Singletary. She's gone now. Uh, I seen one of the fucked up as things I ever seen in my motherfucking life. Mm. At a funeral. I seen one of the coldest things I ever seen. I seen one of the funniest motherfucking things at the wrong time I ever seen in my life. What's that? I know you wanna know what this one is, Diamond. Ain't nobody gonna never guess this one. At a funeral? What? What's... Just give me two things that could be so fucked up and funny at the same time at the front of them. Besides motherfucking knocking over the coffin. Or running into some shit. Damn, AD, you remind me of AD. <laughs> Damn, AD did some fucked up shit one time at the front of them. Damn. Oh, look at him, boy. <laughs> I just had a mom with my bed. But anyway, man, the preacher got up to preach. Dignified motherfucker, man. He got up there preaching and shit. Got up there preaching. I wonder if I can grab something. Man, I need something. I need something to act this motherfucker. I do like this shit. Yeah, I'll put this motherfucker. That nigga, that nigga got up there, nigga, and that nigga was preaching. That nigga was preaching down. But look. We ain't preaching. Oh, the teeth. The teeth came out. He said, oh. Oh, man. I said, hell no. I said, didn't everybody see this shit? That nigga teeth just came out of his motherfucking mouth, man. His teeth fell. And he grabbed him on the, <laughs> hitting them plates together in his motherfucking mouth. It's all in the microphone and shit. I guess, I guess he was used to it because he hurry up and <laughs> I said, hey, that nigga shit came all the way out to here. It's like he caught him before they fell and hit the goddamn me pulpit. Cause I know 
I ain't never, ever seen nobody dentist come out. Diamond, while the man was preaching, I turned around, looked at my mama like, whoop. And when I seen her, the coast was clear. Man, I swear to God, my baby mama thought something was wrong with me. I am not crying. I'm laughing, but I can't catch the cure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they don't know. I ain't crying. And then you got any laughing? I couldn't hold that shit in. I'm on the front row. I know I just seen that shit. I had to come up. My eyes. <laughs> They think you're crying. They pat you on the back and everything, huh? It's gonna be a high person. Say, that's how I feel. Man, that was the most fucked up shit I ever seen. Damn. I swear, I've never seen nobody teeth come out their goddamn mouth. That was a preacher doing the word, doing your sermon. Yeah. It was so crowded, you goddamn church folks, y'all or something else. I mean, y'all seen that just like I seen it, and I'm the only nigga reacting. I that shit, that shit, I couldn't even cry. I laughed my ass, say, man, it was so funny. And that preacher knew I was waiting again for this shit to happen. That was gonna be a one in a lifetime thing. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. The man was preaching the word, his tea came out, and he sucked them back in. I said, ain't this something? I said, my mom said, Percy, you better not shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that shit again. Oh, that shit be playing back in my head. He was fucked out. Say, y'all, um, I swear to God, I wish I had my goddamn phone on that day. I would have caught the bitch. I would have made over 100 million views off that motherfucker, y'all. I would have made some money off that motherfucker. <laughs> If I caught that nigga that day, man, but um, rest in peace to Miss Jewel, man. Um, that was the diamond in the rough, man. Yeah. Uh, that story came a long way. Um, Miss Jewel didn't fuck with me at the beginning, but at the end, Miss Jewel needed me for everything in the world. Yeah. Uh. Tell my crib.